What's going on guys, Asian Guy here bringing you a video which might actually genuinely blow your mind. Happy April and no, this is not an April Fool's video, I promise you. So, what is this video about? You've seen the title and you're like, surely not. Because for everyone that has a brain, we all know that chests don't respawn. There have been very reputable sources like GameWith or Matt Jesting Multi Gaming that claim that chests do respawn, but it's a bit of a meme in the community because evidently they don't. Well, guess what? We've all been proven wrong because in this video, I will show you with live footage real authentic footage that chests do actually respawn now the thing you are going to need for this this might actually not technically be a respawn but a four spawn now as you can see here we have the monstat cathedral now if you've never scaled a monstat cathedral almost every single person should have done so already there is actually a luxurious chest right at the highest point or one of the highest points on the cathedral which is up there by the bell tower there if you go there there will be a luxurious chest now this can be verified by anyone that's already been here before such as myself or anyone that hasn't actually been here you can go check here there's actually a luxurious chest all the way up here they even give you a commission sometimes up here when one of the characters runs away to hang out here just so you will find this luxurious chest now this is where things get a little bit tricky as you guys know genshin impact is a pay to win game and for this chest to be force respawn quote unquote force respawn you need to have zhongli now i don't know why it has to be zhongli but it has to be zhongli i'm not 100 percent sure you need the other characters here tartalia ganyu and ningguan but i believe you only need zhongli to make this actually work so the method that we're going to have to use here it's going to be a bit of a confusing tricky and it might sound stupid method but i promise you it's going to be worth it because if you can consistently force respawn this chest that's basically infinite mora infinite resources infinite primo gems and that is just ridiculous that is stonks right there so how do we do this method let's begin so first things first you start on the tower here the bow tower Monstat, and then what you want to do is you want to make your way to any world boss. This does not include weekly world bosses, no Devalin, no Andreas, and of course, no Child. These are weekly world bosses. We're talking about just the generic world bosses. So you have the Prior Regis Fine, you can have, for example, the Pyro Regis Fine, which is what we're going to go ahead and do over here. So let's go ahead and kill the Pyro Regis Fine. It can be any of the cubes as well. And then, whatever you do, whichever boss you do, it doesn't matter which cube you do, do one of your choice. You want to then after that go ahead and defeat the primo geo vishap and you have to have zhongli in your party once again i don't know why it has to be zhongli but it's just the way it works and i've already done this method once and you can even skip ahead in the video just to verify if i'm trolling you or not because you will see footage live right now as i'm playing right now of me getting a chest respawn so let's move ahead let's start with this Boom, bash, bosh. Let's put the Ninkwan gates down. Let's open up the flower by destroying the Corolla. Pyro Regis fine. Charge attack, boom. Charge attack, boom. Charge attack, boom. Hey, my child actually hits quite hard now. That's pretty nice. Over 6,000, 7,000, 9,000 damage with a charge attack. And then the first thing you want to do is loot the Trounce Blossom or whatever Blossom you get. I'm actually going to have to refill here. I'm actually going to have to refill here. So, we're going to take that loot. Kaboom. Bish, bash, bosh. Ooh, we actually got a purple chunk there, which would be considered a dub on my stream. So, that's very, very nice. Gladiator's Triumphus. Is it going to be any good? No, that is unfortunate. Right. So, after you've done that, you want to then teleport to Nian Tianmen or Tianchi Valley or up here. However you get to the Primo Geo Vishap, it doesn't matter. You just want to go ahead and kill this. You can request people's help with co-op as well. There are some chests in the world that require you to be in co-op, such as the Heart Chest. And I believe that is also a luxurious chest, but... Just to kill the boss, it doesn't matter. You don't have to do this in one go. You just have to do it in this order. You start at the bell tower. You go to any of the world bosses. You kill any of the world bosses. Remember, you have to have Zhongli. And then next up, you want to go ahead and kill the Primo Geo Vishap. If you haven't already done so, this can be a bit of a challenging boss. So don't worry if you do need to request help from other people. You can join the Discord in the links in the description down below if you need someone to help you out. So let's move ahead. Let's go ahead 
and this is a pyro imbued primo geo vishap if you didn't know whatever element is imbued in this they will have the secondary crystals drop from this so for example i'm going to get pyro crystals from this primo geo vishap because right now he is imbued with pyro if it was cry i'd get cryo crystals and if it was you know hydro it would be hydro crystals you know and you know, what, whatever, vice versa, all of that good stuff and all the shebang, shebang, shebang. I don't know why I'm saying shebang, it's such an outdated word, but I guess it's showing my boomer age. So let's put this down again, let's put this down again, boom, and then let's do this. How much damage is that going to be? No crit, you hate to see it, but it is what it is. Right, we're doing good here, Zhongli is preventing us from taking any damage, which is what we want. Very nice, very nice, Zhongli still preventing us from taking damage. Excelente. We're going to finish off with Ninkwan and then boom. Here we go. Hopefully we can get something good because this is very expensive. 80 resin per respawn chest is quite a big ask. Kaboom. And as you can see here, we did get pyro crystals there for the fire element. That is garbage. That is garbage. And that is unfortunately gladiators logging a whole bunch of garbage. Now... The next thing you're going to have to do, and again, this is going to sound absolutely ridiculous, but it is concrete proof that it's going to... Okay, maybe this part is just my superstition, okay? you Maybe you don't have to do this part, but what I like to do is pick a song of my choice. Now, the song that I'm going to be picking is Tunak Tunak Tun, which is a Punjabi song, and you just want to recite the lyrics without actually singing it. So I'm going to recite the lyrics here, which are Dore na vache tumbe varita, sul di dil de puka aya kalele piar. Dore na, dore na, and then it's tunuk tunuk tu, tunuk tunuk tu, tunuk tunuk tu, da da da. And then you want to repeat that. And then it's Dunia yara nam berangi na, pedi na changi. And after that, that's a bit of a ritual I like to do. You don't actually have to do that, but maybe it will work if you do that. I'm going to teleport, not to the bell tower teleport. Do not make this mistake, guys. You do not want to teleport to this teleport over here. You want to teleport over here. Now, the first thing you have to do before you make that teleport, though, is set your time. You have to set your time to 12 lunchtime, and then you want to teleport. No more than 12. It has to be exactly 12 exactly 12 and then you're gonna teleport you're gonna teleport and then when you've teleported that's when you're gonna make your way up all the way to the cathedral top and it's going to be absolutely beautiful so i hope you guys are ready for the big reveal here we go Alrighty, so it's a nice sunny day in Mondstadt. It is the Windbloom Festival. So the first thing you want to do is make your way over to the cathedral. Make sure not to teleport from this point onwards. It's absolutely pivotal that you do not teleport and you walk your way or you can sprint your way all the way up to the top of the cathedral. Now, I have no idea why I went around that way because that's a long way. So I've made a bit of a mistake there. But as long as you come all the way up here, you're going to be A-OK. -okay. This is all you need. You need to have Zhongli that's basically it kill a world boss then the primo geo vishap make sure your time is set to 12 p.m lunchtime not 12 p.m midnight 12 p.m midnight is not a thing it's actually 12 a.m midnight but 12 p.m lunchtime and then as you will see here guys as you will see here okay this is the moment of truth we're gonna scale this boom bash bosh is it gonna work is it going to work? The moment of truth. I've already done this like 10 times, so this should work. Oh my god, please don't drop, Zhongli. Please don't drop. Please don't drop before the big moment. And there you have it. Luxurious chest. You love to freaking see it. So now you have confirmation that chests do freaking respawn even luxurious chests. Is that not freaking amazing? And just as a moment of celebration, let me just swagger up just to celebrate right here, world first. That we have proved that chests respawn.